if you haven't made your egosi this way then you don't know what you are missing i would like to call this egosi soup egosi with nine lives i started off by prepping all my ingredients down to help me cut cooking time into half then i placed my pot on fire added my meat added some for more added my seasoning cubes my blended onion added a little bit of salt stirred everything together and covered to cook so i went ahead to start prepping my egg and i noticed that that plate was small i had to change i added my grounded egg added my sesame seed onion and seasoning cubes and i started mixing it together without adding water usually i add water to my egg but i decided to mix it together because egg already has oil in it then i added my okuruko my kala fish some pepper and water and covered it to cook and after about 10 minutes i added my big crayfish added my isam <laughs> i hope i pronounced that right that is periwinkle added some crayfish and i covered it and allowed to cook again with all the proteins added you can now see why i said this is egusi soup with nine lives i went ahead to add my egusi into the pot and i covered it and allowed it to steam for some minutes then i added palm oil i mixed the egusi added my oziza leaves added some washed bitter leaves also how many leaves do you add into your egusi soup let me know in the comments i added more pepper for more heat added more water because the soup was so thick then i went ahead to stir stir stay and my egg soup is ready guys if you test this soup i'm not capping when next you are making egg soup use this recipe and you would see that your husband is going to get you a gift and the rest of the family are going to ask for more if they don't ask for more and your husband doesn't get you a gift guys come and comment under like this video and say life you drown give me back my money for data <laughs> thanks for watching if you find this video interesting kindly share bye guys